And so let me let me just let me just say a couple of things uh, very practically. One is all partnerships start with what do you do if it ends? <laughs> uh, so you work you work back. So and, and I'm talking about business, but but this is, um, you know, this is is a little bit. It's like a marriage, but there isn't anything that's exactly like a marriage where you just pledge unconditionally for life. Okay. And of course we know what a track record they have, you know, and this is the, you know, th th there is no, uh, more, whatever, um, promise vow oriented relationship than a marriage. But Cena, you know, what half of them end in divorce, right? So, so if, if you've got if you've got that level of of um, <laughs> breakup for something as uh, what a, a seemingly strong as a as a marriage, well, multiply that by about three or four times and appreciate that in business partnerships, intentional community uh, arrangements, da da da. Okay. So I'm I'm just I'm being the old you know the old wise counselor here, uh, trying to help everybody to understand that when you when you enter into a partnership like this, you start with what happens if it doesn't work. Because if you go in without answering that question, and it does and 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 it doesn't work, and you haven't addressed it, you're in for the messiness. <laughs> of a divorce, of a marriage divorce. And you know how messy those can be. Well, this is what I get, you get, you know, you divvy up. I mean, it's, it's a mess. So, so the clarity, the clarity of what happens if it doesn't work out is actually where you, where you start and you work back from there to create something that you want. And so, so the, 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 of course, the goal here is how do we, not have a breakup, you know, at the end. Now, we Americans, we Americans are really, uh, we're, we're, we're brain damaged uh, in this respect because we, American DNA is all about individual liberty. I'll, you know, Frank Sinatra, I did it my way, right? Uh, we, we, uh, we're all about, walking to the beat of a different drummer. Robert Frost, America's poet. Uh, I took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. We, we, we encourage innovation, individuality, uh, individual expression. A lot of, a lot of Americans, you know, unless you've traveled broadly, like I have, you actually don't realize that this is kind of unusual in the world. Most cultures don't incentivize, encourage emotionally or economically different. Tribalism, tribalism is all about shared value, insular, insular belief systems. Um, and, and, and tribalism it certainly predates the nation state, you know, by by a long ways. Okay, uh, the, the modern the modern nation state as we know it is uh, is a relatively, you know, it, it, it we we've made it a more sophisticated institution, but um, but historically historically groups of people enclaves tribes. I mean, you could call them whatever you want to. Um, they were extremely insular about their beliefs, their values, and what was acceptable or not. You know, the the Renaissance, the Renaissance was a time of innovation. But you know, when Galileo innovated the idea that the the work the the sun revolved around the, I mean that the earth, <laughs> yeah, that the earth revolves around the sun. Um, you know the the world didn't take kindly to that. His, you know his 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 culture didn't take kindly to that, and so so we see that kind of ostracism of different. What what I'm what I'm getting at is 
we Americans have a real problem with the level of shared interest necessary to build community. And that's why it's so hard for us. We go to, you know, you go to a, you go to a village in, in, in the old country, you know, whether it's Europe or goodness, um, Africa, so you, you go to these old villages. I mean, I was, um, I was recently on a, I, I did a farm conference with a farmer from the uh, UK, uh, United Kingdom, Great Britain. And Cena, this guy, he, his family, his family has been on that farm for 600 years. Wow. 600 years. And, and so, so in his community, and he spoke about his insular, and, and here he came in, and he was the first one in the whole region to ever use electric fence and start moving his, moving his sheep around. He had sheep, not cows. Now he's got some cows. He's got cows and sheep, and a few goats, I think, too. But anyway, the idea of actually moving these animals and not being confined to the ancient stone fences stone walls that they had, you know, that ancestors had built from way long back. And he starts subdividing this with electric fence. Talk about, you know, new technology and old, you know, uh, to, 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 to break up that land. And, um, and, and, and it was, it was incredibly powerful. So I just want, so here, here, well, here's what happens. So you get a bunch of mavericks, a bunch of loose cannons who want to be different and start this intentional community, and, and we're going to get together. We're going to, man, you know, these are people already predisposed to, I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> and now they're suddenly going to come together and they're going to do it by consensus. And we're all going to just sing kumbaya and we're all going to, you know, uh, we're going to all love each other.